Hey there, Nina here. You probably know all about Link Whisper for internal linking, but let's talk about how you can use it for affiliates, which is something I think most people either don't know or just don't do, but it's been something I've been doing for a while and it's really, really helpful. So if you don't know, Link Whisper is an internal linking tool that uses AI to basically go through your site and be like, you know what? How can I connect these posts? I used this and it massively changed my game because internal linking is a huge authority signal to Google. I like to say, and even though we don't know the exact amounts, I like to say that it's about half the like authority of a backlink for an internal link on your site. When done properly, obviously, that does matter. Uh, but since a lot of us don't want to do a ton of backlink work or outreach, this saves us so much time. I internal linked my site for the very first time with Link Whisper when I had about 180 posts. I set aside a month for it and then, yep, in about an afternoon, I was done. <laughs> like, that's amazing. It took me a little bit longer because I did have to go through and undo some really bad old internal linking, but within three days, and that was while working full time, so this was not like whole days, um, my entire site was properly internal linked and Google really looked better at me. Okay, so enough spousing like why I love Link Whisper, let's actually get to the demo. This is one of my baby sites that's now become a demo site by accident. Um, it is a niche destination site. So let's talk about how you can internal link with this for affiliates, which sounds weird, right? Because it's not actually internal linking. Well, number one, if we go to auto linking over here on the sidebar, you can create links that basically anytime you use a certain keyword, it'll add a link and it does not have to be a link to something on your site. You can link to a specific Amazon page. You could link to um, a tour. You could link to anything under the sun. And this is so helpful. It's also helpful even for your own products. Like if you host your products somewhere else um, on like Gumroad or Thrivecart or something, if I put in the SEO roadmap, I could then put in the link, which is uh, no, Nina Clapperton dot .com slash SEO roadmap. If I could spell it right. There we go. And then anytime I mention the roadmap anywhere on the site, if I click create auto link rule, it will automatically insert this link. And that's so easy. It saves you so much time, especially if you have an existing site where maybe for a while you didn't do this, like you just didn't know to use affiliates. It's also great if you have a site like this one that's a niche destination site where you know that you hype the same hotels often, or if you have a site where you hype a certain tool often. So on my SEO site, I hype Link Whisper all the time. And so I actually set this up. I have Link Whisper up here, and then down here, I have my affiliate link for Link Whisper, create the auto link rule, and then anytime it shows up on my site, it creates this link. Now with the gear, you can also specify things. So if you only want one link per post, for example, I have a whole Link Whisper review. So do I want every instance where I mention Link Whisper included? Maybe, maybe not. It's very much up to you. For that one, I just kept this turned off because it's like add link if post already has the link. For that one, I had preset my link, so I was good. But let's say again, it's like that hotel idea. Maybe you linked it in one spot, but you actually mentioned it five times and realistically, why not link all of them? Uh, then you'd want to check this and it'll add it to any post, even if that affiliate link is already present. Then same thing. Do you want it to link to one, one time per post or do you want it to link a bunch? So technically this is like more for the whole internal linking on your site. So you're not like overdoing it with affiliate links. I think it's okay to overdo it a bit more often. You can also here override the one link per sentence rule. For example, if you're listing a few tools or something or a few hotels and you had already linked to one but you miss this one, you could select this and it'll override it. You can also limit the number of times it does this. Uh, you can double check the links before inserting. I do recommend doing that, especially if it's something where like you're gonna go back through a bunch of stuff and you're not 100% sure what you've done. Uh, the priority, I don't think I've ever really used, um, but oh yeah, it just decides like which, um, like what type of, internal linking is going to be the most helpful here, like what you want to prioritize, prioritize long tail if possible, um, only add posts to publish after a certain date. I think that's a cool one too. Like maybe there was a tool you used before and now you've started using this one. You could then differentiate. Um, case sensitive matters if it's something like 
Polish versus Polish. Most of the time I don't care that much. Like if I'm talking about a certain hotel, I probably capitalized it every single time. But if I'm talking about like a dog bed or something, I don't know if I capitalized it. And especially if it's at the start of a sentence, the first letter might be capitalized and other times it might not be. So then that's something to think about. Um, I only do things in English, so I don't really have to do the language one. And then, oh, I like this one though. You can restrict it to certain categories or tags. So for example, if you had like large dogs versus small dogs on a pet site and there's different beds for each. I mean, my golden retriever is 75 pounds. He's huge. He's not fitting in a chihuahua dog bed. But equally, a chihuahua, you probably don't want to carry around a giant, massive bed all the time for them. I mean, I don't know. Chihuahuas seem like they are treated like kings. So then you could turn that on and then select the certain category or tag to apply this to. And it will apply retroactively and going forward, which is nice. So if you make a lot of posts where like you're always referencing that specific hotel or tour, you never need to add the link again, which is amazing. So I love doing this. I think it's such a great tool. So in reports, we go to domains report, and this is where we can see all the domains that we link to. And you can set it to be domain or links. For this purpose, I like to do it as links instead. And then we just quickly search it for whatever we want. So like, oops, give me one second. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, my internet's not great today. Um, but so you can see all of the different domains that we link to. So for example, if I'm like, you know what? I need something for, yeah, that specific hotel. I can search the link here and then see any iteration of it on my site. This does really help for changing out links. For example, um, Trusted House Sitters recently changed from CJ to Impact. And so I had to go through a couple of my sites and change out those links to the new ones. Same for if something ever switches from one program to another, or if you had one that you joined early on that, or like you couldn't join, maybe like booking, you didn't have enough traffic, you can have all your booking links and then go find them and then switch them. So let's find an example here. Uh, let's do Amazon. I think Amazon's a good one. So here I can find anything on Amazon that I've linked to. And if, for example, again, you weren't in the Amazon program, or maybe you got kicked out and have to change it, you can come in here, find it, and then switch it up, which is so helpful. It just saves so much time. You can also see what the exact anchor text is. So you can go in and edit the URL, but you can also go find it really easily if you want to. And here you can set all of your affiliate links to open in a new tab and be no follow. So for example, I have that set more so in my settings area, but you can do it here and be like, okay, every time I reference um, Amazon, I want it to be open in a new tab and no follow. And if you want sponsored too, but you'll see if you have new tab, then same tab bec doesn't become an option. Same for no follow. Then you can't do do follow as well. So you never have to worry about like somehow having both there. Cause I mean, that would just be very, very confusing, right? <laughs> it would just be too much to deal with. And then if we update it, there we go. But if I search certain links, I'll be able to find where they are on my site and then switch them out so easily, which I really, really appreciate. I think it's just such an easy, quick thing to do. And lastly, we come to the clicks report. So clicks report shows you what people are clicking on, on that page. So let's find one that has, I think this one has affiliate links in it. So here I can see how many clicks people have, cl like how many links people have clicked in this post ever in the last 30 day, what the most clicked link is. And then if I click view detailed link report or detailed click report, sorry. I think this graph is really funny. It looks a little bit like old school, but I, I don't know. Something about the purple and blue, I think, because purple is my favorite color. Just really appreciate. But here we go. Now we can look at all of the links in this post, what the exact anchor text is, and how many people clicked it. So I'm pretty sure this is some sort of image that I migrated from another site, so it's not working properly, which is good to know. I got to fix it. Uh, I guess I don't have affiliate links in this post. That is not good of me. I should definitely update that. Or maybe no one's clicked on them. That is also possible. To be honest, this is a post that is no indexed, so probably wasn't the best one. Let's go find one that definitely has affiliate links in it. Uh, da, da, da. Apologize for very slow internet. There, where to stay? That one definitely has affiliate links. Okay, here we go. So now I'm able to see what people are clicking on. So people are clicking on um, things from inside of my table of contents. 
Here we've got a link, uh, these auto converted from stay 22. They were originally booking.com, but I can see, okay, that has uh, someone, one person clicked on that to this link. And so this is a way that you can, without having anything like, I know Lasso does it now um, on the free plan, but you have to then convert your links to it. I know that Affiliate does it, but again, paid plan here you're able to see it with a tool you already have that's 77 bucks for a year or with the, I mean, they run discounts all the time. They have like a permanent $10 off on their website, a permanent $15 off. If you use the code podcast from their podcast, they run $20 off all the time. So like, let's just say you got it for $57 for your, for one site. Then for that amount of money, you're getting internal linking, auto linking to all sorts of stuff. You can also with the URL changer, change URLs, um, basically do redirects. And here you can check all of your affiliate links to see who's clicking on them. And this helps you figure out, okay, what is the most clicked thing in the post? If I hit, if I hit total clicks, it's going to organize it for me. So I can see that the Fairmont Chateau Laurier, which is exactly what I was thinking of when I was thinking of the auto linking of like a hotel that I hype so much. Cause like, it's beautiful. It's dog friendly. It is in like the most central spot. It's just amazing. Um, it gets the most clicks. And so then I can go into the post and see where is it in the post? Um, should I add more links to it in that section? If it's not number one, move it to the number one spot. Like this is the kind of analysis you're able to do when you know what people are clicking on. And you can do this for external links as well here. If it's your own product, you can do this for your own product. If you have your sales page hosted on your site with Link Whisper, again, you can check what people are clicking as long as on that page, you give it like a different um, UTM for each section. So like not perfect, but for like 57 bucks a year, that's incredible. And so this is a great like kind of free dupe to be able to, or not free, but like built in dupe if you already have Link Whisper to figure out your affiliate tracking and see what are people clicking on. Because yes, if you do it outside in booking.com or something, number one, super confusing, very hard to figure out those <laughs> analytics. I'm not a fan. Um, but also here with things like even Link Whisper's affiliate, I don't always know how many people are clicking because it doesn't track that as openly. Um, but this helps me figure out, okay, what are people clicking on inside of which post? And then I can check the conversion of it outside of this. Definitely, I love Affiliate for this. It does speed it up for me a ton but this is a great way to get started. And this is what I used to do like to start with a, with Link Whisper. Um, and I didn't really realize that people weren't doing this or talking about it more. So I haven't really talked about it that much, um, but I had a couple questions in my Facebook group, my free Facebook group, SEO for travel bloggers, which anyone can join, not just travel bloggers, feel free to join us there. Um, but I realized, okay, you know what? Let's talk about it. Cause I think it would help people. And I apologize for not having thought of it sooner. But yeah, these are a couple different ways, I guess three different ways um, that you can use Link Whisper to up your affiliate game and your affiliate income. And I really hope this helps. Um, if you don't have Link Whisper yet, I will include my affiliate link in the comments and I would highly appreciate you using it. Um, I get a small commission at no extra charge to you and you can use any of those, um, the codes that I mentioned in tandem with my affiliate link to save you some money as well. But yeah, I think Link Whisper is excellent. And I also on this account have um, a review and a walkthrough that you can go through as well. Okay, have a great rest of your day and start rocking some Link Whisper affiliate and analytics. Okay, have fun.